quick video on transducer placement if you're going to try to do a shoot through hull on one of these Yamaha SUVs or if you're going to take a uh, standard transducer and try to create a shoot through hull uh, by just embedding it in silicone or epoxy or whatever you choose to do. So down here where a normal ski might have a, uh, the battery mounted, there's a nice, uh, there's a nice spot. It's not, it's not flat. There's one side kind of angled and then there's a flat spot here. So what I did is I took a, a, basically a flashlight device. You can see the outline of a double hull where it's sitting over top of so, so this like finger looking thing there, there's a double hull. So that's a big air pocket right there. Uh, and then it squares off at the end. So that means that right back there is a solid fiberglass hull on that rear side of it. And then there's a small section on mine right here that could be considered suitable and might be a very good spot actually for a, a, transducer, a transducer to be mounted. To so see right below that, right below that cable, there's a real nice flat spot there. So if I put my light on there, that sh uh, it's kind of hard with this cable in the way right here it gives a nice consistent color all the way around there I believe I believe that to be a solid spot in the hole and let's see let's try to highlight this again uh, it might it may it may not be so all right so notice the uh, the definite color change there at the top right let's put that light past that break point and see if it if it's really bright as well which will kind of give us an indicator of all right so see the way the ambient glows around it but that is definitely a a, a thick fiberglass solid area right there and i believe that to be equally uh, equally glowing so this should be a good spot to mount it um, yeah it's basically it's right close to let me turn on my flashlight for a second sorry my light so you're pretty close to the mid wall here on the uh, starboard side just before all that glue and goop uh, that that little flat spot should be a perfect place to mount and then if you if you want to create a way to do it, you could mount it on this back section there. You can actually see the dark outline a little bit right there. You could mount it there, but that is at a, a, a slight angle. So what I would do is I would create a box out of cardboard or something um, that levels it out. I would fill that all the way up with silicone, make sure there's no bubbles in it. And then I would immerse your uh, transducer uh, vertically in that box, even though it's at an angle, it'll end up flat to the uh, to the uh, uh, water bottom, uh, sea bottom, lake bottom, whatever. Uh, yeah, so I think that should be two good locations for you. Um, hang on, let's throw this note in there. This spot right here with that black dot in the middle there. Don't mount it on that little flat spot there. That is a ride plate bolt uh, or the um, the pump shoe bolt, I believe is actually what that is. Anyway, there's a bolt underneath there, so you're gonna have a uh, solid metal in the way if you try to mount it across that surface. So, so don't think you can get away with that. You might be able to squeeze one in on the back side, but again, right below here, there's gonna be a, a solid chunk of aluminum. So it's just a, a terrible idea to mount it there, generally speaking. Same thing on the pork side. You have that bump right there, nice flat bump. Don't mount it there. Again, that's going to be a uh, aluminum bracket behind there. So bad spot. I, I definitely think that these these two locations, either here or preferably right there, is going to be your go-to spot. Though I think that's a great spot.